Hello YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome back to my video. Today I have a haul. We went to the Denver Goodwill Outlets aka The Bins and Chad and then we'll just put a photo of you right here and Chad will be helping me do the haul. He was there and he helped half the time find stuff and he found a lot of the good stuff actually. Some of it he found sarcastically, trying to be funny, and it actually ended up being some good stuff. So, enjoy. Okay, so when was it? Saturday? We, Last yeah. Saturday. We went to the Goodwill Outlet Bins, and... I love coffee. Chad, too. <laughs> we went to the Denver Goodwill Outlet Bins, a.k.a. the Bins. And how long was I there for? You helped in the beginning, and then he had to leave and go do some errands, and then he came back. Um, I think you were there for four and a half hours? Not was, it, was it five? No, it didn't feel like too long. They close earlier in Denver for some reason. Yeah, because maybe we got there around one, and they closed at five, so it's four hours total. But I was gone for about two hours. We'll start with the accessories stuff. Chad found, let me move the cat out of the way so I don't get holes in it. Okay, go play. <laughs> Chad found this one and it's just a scarf, but it's an alpaca Camargo scarf. But new with tags, 100% alpaca wool. Is it called wool that's off of an alpaca? I think so. Don't know. And then you grab one. Or I can do all the legs. That... Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> Most of it I didn't grab, so... Well, you grab that scarf. Nike beanie. And these sell pretty good. Columbia beanie. Knit beanie. Another knit Columbia beanie. Just go through all this boring stuff real quick. And ow, four pair <laughs> of smart wool socks. These aren't to sell. These are for me or Chad if they'll fit his feet. I don't know if they will. <laughs> There's actually quite a few, but a lot of them were in kid sizes, so I just threw them back. And then this Croft and Borrow. Borrow? Borrow. Is it a will, will Borrow or Borrow? <laughs> Craft and borrow. It's really soft. It's acrylic. And then I found some new socks, which are really soft. They're called Free Press. Never heard of them. But those are for me as well. Sarah says, can you turn towards Val a smidge? We want more Chad. <laughs> no, she means the camera. Oh. Oh. <laughs> or I can just do it more in there. No, don't get out of frame. I'm still in frame. Okay, go ahead. Me? Yes. <sighs> I've been living, breathing Poshmark since the end of June. Let's see what knowledge you've picked up from me. I picked up this really nice skirt. Um, Just now, literally, he picked it up. <laughs> it's Day Trip brand. Stop. I don't know if I can squeeze into it. I bet you could. I might need two of them, one for each leg. And then I'll need a loincloth as well. And there's a nice slit to show off your calves and thigh. Well, I knew it might be your thigh. <laughs> My kneecaps. Gross. Don't show those off. <laughs> <laughs> He's got dirty kneecaps. Okay, don't put it in the pile you just picked from. Gross. <gasps> that works. <clears throat> okay. Next up are these Ann Taylor high-waisted denim shorts with the button fly. 
really cute, but they're only a size, they say size 4, but that looks crazy tiny. I picked them up for myself, but that ain't gonna happen. Well, that's high waist. The normal part of your waist is size 4. You got really suck in your stomach to button them. You can't suck in that part of your stomach, though. <laughs> your turn. LuLaRoe? Pretty sure I found this one. You did. Because I wasn't sure if it was a good brand because I hear her say Lululemon. I was like, well, it's Lulu, <laughs> so it's probably decent. <laughs> and that's false. Not the same as Lululemon, but it is a cute dress. It's actually a really cute dress. Still not my size. Again, Croft and Borrow. Borrow? Um, they're size 32. It doesn't say if they're men's or women's, but you would think 32 would be men's. Yeah, men's size. But don't those look kind of feminine? I mean, it does have pockets on the back. But it's still hard to tell in well, an outdoor pant. I guess you can do. Ah, eh, they might be men's. They're deep pocket, but. A lot of like REI. That's what it reminded me pants. of. Yeah, it's got like. Are, uh, the are made like that for men's and women's, so it could go either way. I like them. Gotta figure out how to operate this here. It is, Chad didn't do the size, sorry. Uh, extra, extra small? It's an extra, extra small, but I mean, it's LuLaRoe, so size means absolutely nothing. <clears throat> but I will set it aside if you want to try it on. So this is a dress, Corey Lynn Coulter, size four. And it's got pockets. I definitely didn't pick this one out. I did. Because I don't remember it at all. It's really cute. It's got a belt. And it's like an off-white and like, it's not pink. It's like a white. I don't know what color that is. Hmm. <clears throat> Fuchsia? I don't know. Between what... a pink and a purple. <laughs> um, these are a Not Your Daughter's Jeans Briella short, size 6. It's just a Bermuda short, but like they feel like they're brand new. They just got a lot of lint on them. <clears throat> I gave you all the hard, hard ones. <laughs> I purposely gave you the dresses. <laughs> so this is a size 12 Calvin Klein black dress. I don't know anything about dresses, so... That. that about summed it up. <laughs> oh. uh, my next one is a romper. Um, it's called Don't Ask Why. <laughs> Don't. Don't ask why. It's pretty sheer material, so I'm not sure how you wear this without showing everybody like your chonies and stuff unless you just don't care but anyway there's a keyhole in the back adjustable straps and that's a pretty short rise on them like an inch and a half two inch inseam that was cute did I say the size? one size fits on them <laughs> <laughs> I don't know hopefully you're short <laughs> smaller and extra small I don't know <laughs> If you're going to Walmart, it's a one size fits all. Victoria's Secret VSX Sexy Sport. What size is that? Medium? Sexy Sport? That's what it says. It's kind of weird. So, it's a athletic jacket, maybe? Is it a jacket or a dress? Because that's pretty long. And if it's supposed to be sexy, you would think it would be a dress. Like a mini skirt? I think <coughs> if this is athletic wear. Oh, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to wear it as a dress. <laughs> if this is athletic wear, 
<laughs> and you wore it as a dress, and you went jogging in it, everyone's going to see your business. But you'll look sexy. And sporty. Find it in my Poshmark closet. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, this is an Old Navy large chambray, another jumper thing. So a onesie. Not much to it. Elastic waist, keyhole back. Oh, and it does have like a tie waist on it. I actually think this one's really cute. And if it was my size, I would keep it. I don't know if I found this one too. I might have. Yeah, you did. Seems like I found a couple of That was like row. right when we were leaving too. You found that one. Another dress. What kind of dress? LuLaRoe. Strapless. Is that what it says? No. Oh. I thought it actually looked like you were reading strapless. <laughs> I was reading the size. Extra small. <laughs> well, I ask that because some people either pull it all the way up and wear it as a strapless dress or it's a maxi skirt. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't know it. So like, oh, it said strapless. When, when you said they pull it down, it reminded me of uh, Meredith on The Office. <laughs> this is for sexy tennis. <laughs> Sarah. Which one? This one or the Victoria's Secret one? <laughs> that was Sarah. <laughs> I'll add that in the description for sexy tennis. <laughs> um, I don't know. Did you? I think Chad found these ones too. It's a pair of Columbia shorts. Um, just a basic pair of shorts, size medium. I kind of like them myself, but I don't know. If we do any hiking this summer, it would be nice to have, like, outdoorsy clothes. This is a pair of cool shorts, size 4. That's what I was telling you, that guy in the YouTube video. That's his jacket. So, right? these are pretty cool. What are they? Cool. Did you skirt. <laughs> a short skirt. A Corduroy mean. material, sort of. <laughs> um, got buttons all the way up the front. Not sure why. It's called it's, fashion. It's so you can put this on without pulling it over your legs. <laughs> Who would take the time? <laughs> Someone that can't lift their legs up very high. So it's a mini skirt for old people. And I'm not sure if this one's guys or girls. Normally it says inside of it, but they're REI shorts, size large. I might have you try them on to see. I mean, does guys button this differently than girls, or is that just like on jackets? So it's on the left. I think that's everyone. That's normal. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if these are guys or girls. But large hiking pants from REI. take some of this out of here so it's not blocking. Um, I don't know how to pronounce uh, What is it? Oh, try your best. I don't know if it's Ecote, Ecote? E-C-O-T-E. My guess is Ecote. Ecote. You gotta say it fast, Ecote. This is actually an anthrop... It, de it depends on if it's like a French word or... Mexican? Spanish word. I mean, Del, Del Norte in Colorado has an E on the end. It's Icote. Now you do it French. Here is the Icote. That's Mexican. <laughs> I can't. Snap pas très comfortable. Icote. I'm sorry. It's a dress. Yeah. Valerie can describe it. Size medium. It's kind of holy, but it has a liner. But it's still kind of see-through. So if you're asking someone if it's see-through, it is. We went to um, our friend Matt's wedding in Denver, and I had this really cute, what was I wearing, a skirt and the top? I don't remember. I think it was. I was wearing a skirt and a blouse, and as I'm getting ready, I'm kind of looking in the mirror, and I asked Chad. Wasn't it just a dress? Yeah. Yeah, it was a... With the, you had like a jacket I, vest or something, or... No, it was a dress, but I didn't have a slip-on under it. It was a bodycon dress, 
and I kept looking in the mirror and I thought I could see like my thighs but I wasn't sure and I kept asking Chad is my dress see-through is my dress see-through and no you can't see through you can't I see said you. no you can't see through it and then I get outside we're getting ready to go to the car the light hits me and I can see straight through my dress it was an indoor it was, I guess it was an outdoor, it was an outdoor wedding <laughs> But it was in the evening. So my feet were already hurting from wearing heels and I had to run back upstairs to the <laughs> hotel room and put on a slip. Which I should have just done to begin with, but I wanted to be comfortable. Okay. I actually have two pair. We'll get to the other pair in a minute. Um, shirt. The Bordello of Love. 14th, 3rd Street, San Francisco. Not sure. That one actually might be for me. I didn't know what the picture was or the brand. But I just... Oh, you can't hardly... S you can see it so much better through the shirt. Can you? Mm-hmm. Huh. Is it printed on the inside? It's printed on the inside. <laughs> yeah, some brands do that. Okay, maybe I'll look up the comp set and see. So let me flip it around. And I don't know if you can see it because I'm backlighting it. Can you see it better that way or no? Yeah. It's probably just because the light's shining through it this way. Can you really see it on the inside? Huh. I don't know. That's weird. I didn't notice that in the store. Boom. Maybe it's inside out. Oh, no. Maybe the label goes on the outside and all the seams as well. <laughs> Maybe I wear it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you might. Uh, these ones I picked up for myself. They're a Go Light women size small. Just a hike, hiking pant. They weigh, they weigh like half an ounce. So it probably cost me like 10 cents for these. I was just wondering where you're going to put all this stuff that you keep saying is for you. <laughs> I'm working on the Marie Kondo in my bedroom. So don't put any of that in there. Well, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you to other clothing. Oh. Uh, he has more clothes than me, actually. And they're all, move the shirt, exactly the same as that top. They're not. Half of them are. I got like four of them like this, some flannels. In that color. He's got no. like four shirts that are green and ribbed like that. And then he's got like two that are gray and ribbed like that. Then he's got a they different brown color. brown ones. Brown ones. He's got like four brown ones just like that. They're all different shades. <laughs> he likes to match his shirt to his pants too. Like he'll it, wear a green shirt with green pants. My closet's called 50 Shades of Earth Tone. <laughs> Nike shirt. Stripes. Pocket on the front. Large. It says size large, but I wonder if they mean a kid's because... <clears throat> no, it's know. just really stretchy. <laughs> this one, I didn't see a brand. I saw them on top of the pile of clothes, and I picked them up from me. And I was thinking, maybe by the time summer comes around, I'll have, like, my abs that I want, and I'll be in shape, and I'll be able to fit these. But there's no way. I was looking at them... And that'll fit, like, my thigh. It's never going to happen, but they're really cute green slide button little shorts that are high-waisted. Yeah. Loft, skirt, extra small. <laughs> um, you found that one. I don't know. It's not corduroy. It's got lines on it like corduroy, and I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but they're going horizontal instead of vertical. So, pretty fancy. Yep. I know nothing about clothing. You're doing good. Um, this one was Brooks Brothers, and I thought the style looked like women's, but again, the size is 33. But doesn't that look like a woman's short? Like an older woman. Well, wearing a lot of women's clothing, if they were in inches, they were odd numbers instead of even. <laughs> no, I meant they look like guys. Women's is even numbers. 
juniors, like girls, is odd numbers. But not when it's dimensional. Yeah, no, that doesn't exist in teens, I don't think. Mm. But it's a size 33. And it's Brooks Brothers, which is a really good reseller brand. I don't remember picking this one up. I think you did. I might have. Another LuLaRoe. Well, I might have, because I might have got all this stuff from one pile. He found all the LuLaRoes. Um, I don't know, sometimes you get into a... Oh, wait, what the heck is this? It's a vest, but look how cool that is. It's, like, got side slits on it. I'm mm. not sure what the style is called, it might say on the tag. No. Is there an actual style for the... <laughs> they have names. Like, all of the LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe pieces have, like, girls' names. Like, this... You would think this would be a sleeve coming off the side? <laughs> But it's not, because there's no tube for your arm to go in. Your arm actually comes out of the hole above it. So it's a, a duster length vest. I don't understand. <laughs> it's called fashion. Oh, and here's the other one, Stacy. Another REI size large hiking pant. And it's the same exact pair, I think. It's just in khaki color. Is khaki a color or texture? color. In the khaki color. Well, what's chino? A texture? It sounds... Doesn't it sound like cochino? You know what a cochino is? Sounds like a Spanish word. Mexican word. You know what cochino? Mm, gross. <gasps> You're so brown. Can you I just... have a sip of your coffee? Your... It's almost out. Skies are blue. Size 8. Which is sold uh, from Stitch Fix. Not every piece from them is, but I'd have to look it up. Really need a uh, wider lens or something. We sh shoot YouTube in vertical format. And be obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my last pair of shorts. These are from Topshop. And they are just a tiny little pair of booty shorts. Regular fly size 24. Missing a pocket. I think that's part of the style because there's no <laughs> stitching. But it's faded. That's part of the style. Huh. It's called fashion, Chad. They're cute, but... I wonder if those all came from the same girl because they're like all the same exact size. By yeah. Sorry, there's a bunch of lagging. I see your messages, Stacy. It's just so laggy. And Sarah, uh, she put LOL tidying up to make space for new stuff. <laughs> by Kenny Cans? I don't Now, I grabbed this one. Just by the feel of it, it felt expensive, and it's got a nice tag inside. I didn't look up the comps, but it is a dress. It's a t-shirt Wait, dress. What? It's a dress. There's like a loop right here for a belt. What size is it? Small or extra small or something? Small? Yeah. A loop for... Oh, I see. I'm pretty sure it's a dress. Hmm. And if this one fits... No, I guess it would be a, a mini skirt, I guess. You can go again. I'm going to grab some more coffee. I guess this is my show now. <laughs> um... I don't know why I ended up with the pile with all the dresses. Because <laughs> I did that on purpose. Pretty sure I found this one because I asked you about it because it had a uh, different tag than I would expect to see. The brand is Fig. Oh, this is way too long for me to hold up without dragging it on the floor. What's that type of dress called? Um, this is a long dress. Yes. It will go all the way down to your ankles. Multitask, wear this while you're walking around your house. It sweeps up all the cat hair. <laughs> <clears throat> and this. Um, now, some people. Tag yeah. This is what Chad was looking at. There's like this store tag sticking out, but there's no actual tag. A lot of people I see in their videos call that new with tags. Or new without tags. But, like, you don't know, maybe that person just didn't feel a big old piece of plastic sticking in their arm. It could be used. Or what if that was a tag from a thrift store? 
That's how some people do it. And I don't like that. Mm. Unless it's like actual new with the tag. I don't do that. Okay. Um. I'm just preparing for the next one. He's practicing pronouncing it. <laughs> I hope I can pronounce it. <laughs> this one is the North Face size medium, a men's thermal top. <laughs> yeah. It looks really nice. It's got one pocket on the bottom. Always check your pockets for money. Um, it's got the thumb holes, which is nice. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, nope. Next shirt has the thumb holes. Vapor Wick. Oh, there's the name of it. The Flight Series. If you're really interested and you want thumb holes, I can cut them for you. <laughs> it's gonna cost you a little more, though. <laughs> and it won't last as long. <laughs> and then you can't wash it or dry it. <laughs> Uh, this one's new with tags from Ross. It is Shelby and Palmer, 14W. Does that stand for women's? I don't know if there's like a wide. I think it's <laughs> I mean, it's a dress. It's got pockets. I think this one's so pretty. I don't know. That's kind of text like that pattern on there that you can see. You can feel the texture in the dress. It's not just a printed pattern. You can like feel the pattern, you man. You really feel it. <laughs> I feel that one, Chad. It's got a little gold thing right above your uh, cleavage hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a slit in the back. For your other cleavage <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practically a professional. That's so gross. <laughs> Oh, hi Aunt Cheese. <laughs> it's lagging, so like right now they're going to hear us talking about the rear cleavage hole. Oh, you're up. Um, this one I picked up for myself. I will get rid of another sweater or coat <laughs> in my closet for this one because it's so cute. It's just from H&M, but it's a size 8 and it's a, uh, what do you call that? You probably know the word for this one. Trench coat? Yeah, trench coat. I can't think of it. I'll even try it on because I look so good in it. <clears throat> but isn't that like a really cute coat? And you won't be able to see it in that camera. Let's just squat down. It's cute. That's okay. They can pretty much see it. That is such a cute coat. That one's for me. I like That's it. like 10 items that you've set up for you. That's like two. There's more on my pile over here that are for me though. Pretty sure. <clears throat> well, I can't remember if I found this one or you. What is it? Uh, free people. I can't. <coughs> me. <clears throat> Another long. So this would be a skirt then, because it only goes around your waist. <laughs> I guess you could pull it up to your boobs. <laughs> Multi-purpose. Depending on what you want to do, you can wear it high or wear it low. But, long skirt, is there a size? I think it's a small. Small or petite. But not both. <laughs> um, this one I picked up. I'm not sure if Marmot is still expensive. I know back in the day it used to be expensive. Um, I don't know what size it is. I think it's like a small. But it's just a white fleece, and it's got the look that's just belly Yeah, I, ne <laughs> I never would have picked that up at all. And it says Marmot right there. Really? Mm-hmm. Just because it's ugly? or Because it's you... white. Yeah. Sometimes you walk out and you get stuff that's not stained, like light-colored or white stuff. Yeah, I'm surprised that that's not stained. But I figure I'd give it a try. I mean, it's super light, so it probably don't, costs like Don't let me cents. touch it at all. Just by looking at it, I might have stained it. Um, this one is Log, label of graded goods. It's from H&M. It doesn't say that. Yeah, it does on the tag to the left. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. My other left. The left side of the shirt. It is a 
European size small and a U.S. size small. Not sure what the difference would be. Why they didn't just put size small? <laughs> well, Europeans are a different kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> so gray sweater, uh, kind of a deep V cut. Oh, that one's also for me. It's just H and M, and it's cute. You can give the description of it still. I was just saying it's for me. You read that comment? We both need to come to San Antonio do for tanning because I'm so pale, or so we don't lag on the internet as much, <laughs> or for entertainment purposes. I would love to go to different states to thrift. I actually hear Vegas is a really, really good place to go thrifting at. Not like on the strip, but like smaller. I recently watched a documentary. I finished it last night where this giant monster trashed Vegas. And then Godzilla came out of the sea. We watched one Godzilla movie like on Amazon Prime and then he switched over to Netflix and made us watch another Godzilla movie. Like the first one wasn't good. Why did you think the next one? You or never mind, I got it. Your story gave me enough time to uh This one is the brand four seventeen authentic. <laughs> What? Ben Hoosen. That's not what it said. He skipped over the hard part. I didn't read the part, but that's a brand. I know it's Ben Hoosen. It's a size 8. Just a plain white shirt. And this one's for me, too. <laughs> I was looking to buy one on Poshmark, and the cheapest white, plain white button-up I could find was like $12. So it's for me. I saved. That's, yeah, because I was thinking that you needed some more clothing. I saved $12. You're welcome. In case I have you do, like, painting or yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'll just wear one of your shirts because you got multiples. Pretty sure I found this one as well. White House, black market, size medium. It's really cute, all those ruffles. So, is this a top or a blouse? I would list that as a blouse. See, you better watch out. Pretty soon this is going to be Chad's closet. Not that I wear this stuff, but this to one was sell it. pretty good. I think a lot of people skipped over this one because they saw like the the sequins on the sleeves and thought, "Wow, that's stupid." But actually, it's not. It's a sweater front, and then it's got a floral sheer back, and it's actually a miss me top. Wouldn't your back always be cold? And it's a size small. Yeah, I don't know why they'd make a sweater that has a sheer back. But it's Miss Me, and Miss Me's expensive. See how fast I do it? Which one? This one here. Oh, the truffle flower one. It is cute. That's how I like to do it. I used to have a tote full of clothes, and it was like my goal box. And so it just gives you like something to look forward to, so you're not just like losing weight to lose weight. I don't know. It's like a fun treat. I found this one and I actually really, really like it. I'm going to go clear this off. It's a black dress from David's Bridal. Is this to sell or for you? It's to sell. I don't think I'd ever go anywhere fancy enough. Like hanging out with me is not fancy enough. Valerie gets upset when I put nice clothes on if we go to like Walmart or something. Well, he puts on like slacks, nice shoes, a nice shirt, and then he wears a Michael Kors peacoat to Walmart. And then I show up in my patched jeans <laughs> and my shoes that have holes in them. Sometimes I feel like I just need to wear nice clothes because 90% of the time I wear dirty, greasy clothes for my job. Cold back, hot front. That's right. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Sarah. <laughs> now you all have a sweaty, a sweaty back. And, uh... I don't know. 
This one's an Athleta. Yeah. Yeah. So it's sweater material, but it's mesh. So you won't be warm at all. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't understand fashion. Plus, wait, this, <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> leggings for <laughs> a really wide but very short person with skinny legs. <laughs> I was looking at it wrong the whole time. <laughs> and a very wide set of legs. <laughs> How else are you going to wear it? It doesn't fit me, but I'll wear it. Wait, is that another one for you? No, it's not. This is an extra small. This probably doesn't fit me. This, oh. is, this is how we wear it. Oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> like that. And it's just like a slouchy sweater. Except I think this is supposed to come this way in front of you. I think you should try it on the other way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to ruin it. <laughs> To trade on my legs. Oh man. My legs would not fit. That's those. pretty funny. Like when you see like character caricatures or cartoons, <laughs> sometimes people are built that way. Um, Chad found this one. It's a little kids, which I don't pick up, but it's like brand spanking new in this we, Patagonia. We need to check that with Avery. Oh. Okay. If it doesn't fit Avery. I don't know. It's really cute. Is she watching? I don't know if Shelby's watching or not. Shelby, are you in here? Oops. Oh, Sarah says it's a shrug. Thank is you. Is that like, we don't know what it is? <laughs> shrug? It's a shrug. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite emoji. <laughs> uh, yes. I will put that in the description. Thank you, Sarah. So I don't know if that will fit my niece or not, but... There's no size tag. We'll just have to try it on her. It's yeah. cute, though. It's like brand stinking new. I don't know. Oh, it's got Aww. stain on the inside. So it's reversible, well, but there's a stain on one side. So we'll just flip it back this way. <laughs> I didn't see that the Ooh, first time. Adam Berry's watching. <clears throat> He's here for the good stuff. Adam, what size are you? <laughs> he got a pair of pants. <laughs> I, I have this pair of pants just for Adam. So I thought this was some type of sweater. Bella, uh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Go lay down. You're going to mess up the camera. Here. You, She's going to walk right through the cord. Come on. Go lay down. Stop. I thought this was a sweater. Um, let me see here. Stuff here. Because the label's right here. But I realized I was holding it wrong, and it's actually a pair of britches. <laughs> so if... Any of your girlfriends <laughs> need a new pair of britches. These ones are extra wide and extra short. <laughs> so just hit us up if you need a pair. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Adam Barry left. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, your turn. I did that. And Go. Well, Sarah down. and Kevin are joining us. Not sure if Kevin's watching or Sarah's watching. But, uh, stop by to see the show. Welcome to Chad's Poshmark channel. Um, another free people, extra small, or TP, is that tiny petite? <laughs> tiny potato. <laughs> so, if you're wondering, this is very see-through. So you I'm not sure if it's like, because Free People does like a lot of, um, wait, what it's for people this? that are freely show their bodies. <laughs> oh, that makes a little more sense because a lot of the stuff is pretty see-through. No, well, you would wear a bralette under this. So if you don't know what a bralette is, it's a bra. But it lets everybody <laughs> see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like lacy and pretty and you want pretty much you want people to see your bra but the lower part of it that would go over your belly <coughs> is double layered so it's less sheer and 
It's got two tassels, so you can tighten the neck up if you want. In case you're like real self-conscious and don't want people to see your <laughs> neck. But you want to show everyone the rest of yourself. <laughs> this one? One of them, Tuck It All In Spanx. Is by A New Day, which is just Target. It's an extra large. And it's for me. <laughs> So, any of you that are just joining us, Valerie has a pile about this tall of stuff that she says is for her. It's really just a haul of stuff that I'm going to be wearing. Not really to show. <laughs> 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 um, just a gray sweater with a turtleneck. The older I get, I don't know how to explain it. But I really like turtlenecks. And I just feel like that's an old person thing. Is it not? I don't think so. No? Mm -hmm. A turtleneck? Um, Velma from Scooby-Doo wore a turtleneck. Is that and the geeky one or the pretty one? The geeky one. Eh, just a sweater. A American Eagle... <laughs> Jegging sweatshirt. What does that mean to you? I thought jeggings were leggings for jogging. <laughs> but, or is it jean leggings? There you go. This but leggings, is not. Leggings for jogging is pretty funny. I'm going to use that in my descriptions. <laughs> so. Why do you think it has the word jegging on there? Um. I have no idea because this is not jean material or legging material. So what we have here is an oversized sweatshirt from American Eagle that you wear with leggings or jeggings because it's long enough to cover up your butt. Hmm. Makes sense. And it's a really thin material and it's also um, like a burnout pinkish purple. This is a large dash extra large. Which, American Eagle does really good on Poshmark, but the bigger the size, the better it does. I like turtles. Did somebody put that? <laughs> no, she put turtles, turtle. Oh. I don't know, I just love turtlenecks all of a sudden. Um, this one is just a Nike t-shirt. And it's a little dingy, and if I can't get it brighter, then I'm going to keep it. But it's just like an old school Nike one. It's a size large. And I don't see a date on it. But it's like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like early 90s. I like it. <coughs> so, cabbie? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to say because why is it capital C, capital A, lowercase b i? I don't know. Kabi or kabai. 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 No, kabi. Kabi. Extra small. Excuse um, me. It's got a hood. That's but, it. Yeah. Oh, unless there's some other fashion piece of material up here that I don't know what it would be for. I don't think that's a hood. I think that's like a. Uh... What do you call oh, that? this is a turtleneck that's open in the front. <laughs> no, what's that called on the guy's uh, jacket? Yeah. But look at the shape of it. Here, let me just put it on. Just put it on. Just put it on. I and then we'll find out if it's a hood or not. I don't think that's a hood. I thought it was like, not a collar. What's that thing called on the men's like blazer? You know what I'm talking about? Is it a collar? No, this thing. Somebody, somebody knows what it is. What's that called on a men's blazer? There's a name for it. Like what, like a, a sport coat? Sure. Like the two kind of taper things down that go mm -hmm. up into your collar? Yeah. <laughs> See, it just, I don't think that goes on your head. <laughs> it is, I saw that on Star Wars. What is <laughs> Fashion. I I bet you 
that it is a hood. I don't think so. That's a creepy hood. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> is this like a Sith Lord hood? Or, we'll put it without the hood. It's like that. Like, it's just a big collar. So, it's like a scarf <laughs> built in to your really thin shirt. So, it's a scarf and a hood. A scud. <laughs> or a harf. <laughs> Lapel. That's what it's called. Did you know that word? It is a lapel. Yeah. That's the word. I should have known that because I use lapel microphones when I record. Because it clips onto your lapel? I clip it on my collar. <laughs> <laughs> I clip it on my chest hair. <laughs> it's just Velcro. Um, this one is just a sleeveless blouse pullover and it's a Torrid size 5. And it's a, a high-low. So, again, good to wear with leggings or jeggings in case you want to go jogging in your leggings. <laughs> <sighs> Chad found this one. Do you guys know Jock? No. <laughs> because this belongs to Jock's girlfriend. Jack's girlfriend? Jock's. Let me see. It's an H. Oh, that's it's more a Jacques. A Jatch. Jatch. <laughs> It'd be Jatch. Jatch, plural though. Jatch's girlfriend. <laughs> Jacques' girlfriend. I don't know, it can't, the pattern, like the, the look of it, makes me think of like boots, but. Yeah, it's got a nautical feel to it. Okay. Cap sleeve, button up. Pretty sure I found that one. He did. He handed it to me and he said, is this cute? And I said, this is Jock's. And I, <clears throat> she apparently thought I couldn't read the tag and thought it was Jack's. That's still how it's, it's like Zach. that's spelled Z-A-C-H. So Jack. Jacques. Jacques doesn't have a girlfriend. Jacques's got a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one Wait. is from. Is there a Jacques on uh, Beauty and the Beast? 641? I don't know. Size large, I think. And it's just an old band tee of Van Halen. Do you have that? Oh, finish that first. It's just a Van Halen. I don't listen to them. So I, I don't even know what their music is. I like the t-shirt, but... I think it's country. <laughs> but I don't want to be a poser, so I won't wear it. But it says, Van Halen, Whiskey A Go-Go, Sunset Spirit Hollywood, 2009. And shall we stick around so we can tell you what size this jacket is? Well, we don't know what size it is. Oh. But. So it doesn't have a size on the jacket, I guess. Stay there, Shelby, and grab it. Did you already put it away, or is it at the bottom of the pile? Oh, it's at the bottom of the pile. <clears throat> and in case you guys are wondering over there, He's we're so live on Facebook as well. So, we're reading comments off of Facebook. Oh, were you going to ask me if I need to plug my phone in? No. Oh, I didn't know what you were asking. You were going to ask me something, you said I'll wait till you're done. I was talking about this. Oh. So, it might be, it might be a little small. She'll probably just have to try it on. Yeah, we found another, a jacket for Avery to try on. It's Patagonia. When we were looking at it, though, we, it's reversible, but as we were doing it, we found a... A mark on the inside of the sleeve. But this side is still good. And what is that, a feather down or a peacoat? Or not peacoat. Puffer. Yeah, there's like paint or something. Well, I mean, maybe it'll wash out if it's just like kids' paint. Now, does it have pockets on both sides? Yeah, it's reversible. It's got pockets on both sides. Is there a size in the pocket? No. Or maybe oh. there was. Go ahead, you look I, I just figured since it's reversible, maybe there's a size hidden somewhere, so it's not visible. Wait, is it reversible? Who thought that it was fine? Maybe it's not reversible. No, well, it's, it's got, got the Patagonia, Patagonia logo on both sides. So it's got inside pockets. <laughs> I don't know. She can try it on, though. <laughs> um, cable and gauge? I can't remember if I found this one or you did. I did, because it's for me. <laughs> it's cute. 
It's just cable and gauge. Well, you can still show it. It's not even worth showing now. It's this, this beautiful. This is item number 25. Blue top, short sleeve with ruching on the side. Ruching? You can do another one. Do this one you found. No, go ahead. Because one. that one's for you too. No, it's not. It's men's. This one is another North Face men's size medium. Black and gray. Like, what is that? Mesh? What kind of material is that? This one is another Flight Series Vapor Wicking shirt. And this one does not have pockets either. I could swear I got one with pockets. It's a shirt. But it had pockets in it. Hmm. I could have swore. Do we decide if this is men or women's? It's a women's. <clears throat> um, Brooks Brothers. Good brand. Size 2. Made in Italy. There was a pair of pants that were right next to it, but they were a different brand and they didn't quite match, so I didn't grab the pants. But this one sells for a lot on Poshmark. So if it's a women's jacket, is it still a sport coat? No, I think it's just a blazer. Um, this one's nothing too exciting. Log by H and M, size U.S. medium, and it's just the crop sweater. Pearson Bros Company hiking materials. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a joke or not, but it says phone six eight five. Falls City. Well, that's too many numbers. Like somebody fell hiking. Are they trying to be funny, or is Falls City an actual place? Not sure. This is the LuLaRoe. Oh, this one I picked up for my sister. Extra small. For my sister. Say, I didn't remember picking this one up. I got it for my sister. I think this one is going for sale. <laughs> it's for my sister. Okay, it's for your sister. Um, this one I found, it's a free people size medium, and it's just like a tunic length top. Not much to it, just a black, black swinger top. Shelly said that one's a blazer. It's not a women's sports coat. I know, I just told you that too. <laughs> because women can't do sports. <laughs> Is that what you can <laughs> I'm glad that I read this one a few times. It's a woman's baker. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll let you try to read it just by glancing at it. Read it right away. I already know what it is by the material. What? It's a Fabletics. What do you think it said? Well, when I first pulled it out, it was folded and it said Fable. And then I was trying to make the words match up for the rest of it. But Fabletics. Size medium. I think you can tell by the material. They're all the same. Ah! Whoa! It's all... Wait, how does this operate? It's like Christmas. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> this is why oh. Chad owns all of his shirts the same exact one. So he knows how to put them on. Well, yeah. If you criss... <laughs> if you crisscross it... That doesn't even work. That doesn't even make sense. You'll have to demonstrate how it operates because I can't figure that out. Is it inside out? It's inside out. How can you tell? Is it, it's not inside out. <laughs> Wait, you gotta switch that around. There, that's how it goes. Boom, like that. And then it's got the swishy back like that. It crosses over. Here, you can have those. And then we picked up these bags. Now you think we picked them up just to put stuff in, right? Our cart was full, and the laundry baskets that we picked up at the bins had broken handles. So we found bags laying around. And I'm guessing since this is a Lululemon bag, Valerie has different plans for it, like... To sell it. Bon bonus... <laughs> Stuff for <coughs> selling stuff on Poshmark. Um, no, you can just sell them. <clears throat> the Lululemon bags. 
Not this one. They make a small one. <clears throat> this is a small. That size, but this print you can sell for nine dollars on Poshmark. And how much do you think that costs you to buy? Like five cents, maybe not even that. Couldn't you just go into Lululemon? Do they have their own store? Yeah. Buy a shirt. Return it. Return the shirt without the bag. That's a good idea. But. I know what we're doing this weekend. We're going to, Lul <laughs> <laughs> going to Lululemon and buying and returning a bunch of clothes. And then just a large one. But I was just going to lot them together. So now I have three. So I'll probably list them for like $15. Hmm. Which ain't bad because this weighs like nothing. I mean, <clears throat> they seem pretty durable. It's a good material. It's like a uh, reusable bag, but it has a button on the top. I wouldn't pay no $9 for it. Well, people put like their lunch in them. They use them as lunch boxes. But it's not... It's, <laughs> it's like teenage girls that do it. They just want that Lululemon logo. Um, where's that other bag? Oh, and wait. Then, Is that supposed to be hair? No. Like hair coming down? Or is that the Omega sign? I don't think it's hair. I don't know what the Omega sign is. Hmm. I don't know. I don't... It just looks like... Looking at it like kind of at an angle upside down, it looks like locks of hair coming down. Kind of. Um, this bag I was actually using, I had it on my shoulder as I was going through the bins and I was picking stuff and putting it in there and then I would go to my cart which is parked on the side and dump it in there when it got full. But I did actually like it. It's a really thick can- hey. Is Adam still here? Adam, I got a puzzle piece. <laughs> I'll save that for you. Um, <laughs> it's just a tote. It's like a thicker canvas. And it's got a few pockets inside. Uh, and it says, it's got the picture of an apple of my eye. And I thought it was really cute. I'll reuse it. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't go with those ones that you're selling? I could sell it, but I like it. As ohms? Ohms. Ohms? As an ohms law, electric goal, resistance. Oh, and that's why guys recognize the sign? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys are pretty good at picking out Lululemon because they actually yeah, do always, see that sign. I see the, the ohms <clears throat> symbol. But. So guys are pretty good at picking out Lululemon stuff. But since, since Ruth is paying attention, I know it looks like the ohms symbol, but does it also not look like locks <laughs> hey, of <Sarah>. hair? <laughs> See, look, Sarah wants it. <clears throat> Green apple toe. Oh. The one I just showed. It's cute, too. It's so cute. And is that? I'd rather go to somebody that's actually going to use it. But it's cute. <clears throat> are you? Are you s <laughs> no, to Sarah, not to lot with the Lululemon. Oh. No, that wouldn't go. I with thought the you were Lululemon. meaning that Sarah's not actually going to use it. No, it's like, Valerie, she's watching still. <laughs> no, I'm saying it would probably just sit with my bags, but it would look cute sitting with all my bags. <clears throat> this one is Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size medium. And it's just a button up <laughs> t shirt, er, long sleeve shirt with ruffled details. Nothing special, I just thought it was cute. <clears throat> my aunt says so she's an EEG and a sleep tech. It looks like the Ohms logo to her. Oh. That's what it looks like, but just at a weird angle, it looked like hair. So maybe those kind of people are the people that buy it, and they take it to work as lunch boxes. Maybe. No, I think teenage girls buy them. Uh, this is a mm. awfully fancy tag for a men's. Is it but men's or unisex? It says men's, size small, oh. smart wool. Where does it say men's? At the top. There's two tags. Oh, I didn't even see the men's before. Okay. Yeah, it has a, it has cool. a double tag. That'll sell for even more now. <laughs> but it's a men's, size small, smart wool. Um, I don't know if it's sweater or what. 
I don't know. I ain't no size small, so I'm still gonna put it in my closet. I picked that out for me. I think thin layer stuff like that is called base layer. Why does it have a zipper at the top? I don't know, because you got a fat neck, you have more room. <laughs> um, this one is a Nike size small. It's a base layer. Turtleneck. Don't you claw me. <clears throat> it's really thick material too, and soft. This one has the thumb holes already cut in, so Chad doesn't have to cut them for me. Yeah, that's it, just a black one. Really good condition though. This is Athleta. Where's it at? It's got a, got a little, we'll say a windmill on the back. Aren't there like five or six companies using a little round circle with pedals on it? Mmm, tangerine looks like it. I once accidentally picked up a tangerine thinking it was Athleta, but it still sold for like 12 bucks. So, what is this, like a sports shirt? Yeah. Athlete. Athletic wear. Thus the Athleta name. <laughs> That brand name reminds me of Athlete's Foot. Me too. Um, this one... I kind of regret picking up. I don't know what I was thinking when I picked it up. It's just J. Crew Factory. Size small. It's really sheer. Are those people's faces? The pattern? Like an eye and an eye. I don't think so. Chin. Chad sees people. <clears throat> I mean, I picked it up because I sold a giraffe print one for like 20 bucks. But I'm not sure how this one will do. It's not nearly as cute. And the other one was silk. That just feels like cotton. Another smart wool. This one doesn't say if it's men's or women's, but it's a size small. Isn't it unisex? One of them's a unisex. Or what's that mean? Is that men or women? I don't know the little sign. Oh. What's the circle with an arrow? Is that men or women? And I don't know why they would put it like that. That's confusing. I don't know. Yeah. Someone will know in the comments. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. I never learned it. Smart wool does excellent though on Poshmark. <clears throat> Is that one? I can't remember. But Volvo uses that same symbol, I think, in their logo. All of their smart wool was in really good condition, too. This one? Here, you do one while I button it up. Let me see that one. I have to button it up so you can see it. Here you go. <laughs> <coughs> Market and Spruce. I think that um, one is also a Stitch Fix brand. I don't see a size. <clears throat> Hold on. Maybe they hit it somewhere. If you flip the garment inside out three times, you can find the size tag. Not on this one. It's torn out. I'm going to guess it's an extra large. Maybe even a 1X. It's, uh, it's kind of transparent. Pretty sheer. Oh, maybe more than that. Oh, so we got it backwards. V neck goes towards Gosh, the dang front. Dang it! How can I never button things on the first? You can't even button it right when you're not wearing it. <laughs> I can't. You get the idea, though. So, yeah, it's probably an extra large. Me Men's, the man symbol. Thank you, Sarah. <clears throat> so this one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were buttoning that up. I was trying, but I missed a button. Size small from Express. It's just a sheer button up in like this cute burgundy color. And it's mine. <coughs> Look how thin <clears throat> it is. It's not going to take up any room in the closet at all. Marie Kondo said I could buy it. <clears throat> this is Rip and Dip. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. No, do it. You tell what it is. You tell what it is. This brand is Rip and Dip. It's all the rage. And <laughs> everyone who loves strange t shirts with. Oh, wait, I didn't look in the pocket. <laughs> 
I didn't, I didn't look at. I didn't look in the pocket. I just saw a cat popping out. What's he doing? <laughs> so I didn't look in the pocket. I know what he's doing now. <laughs> Nobody else see well, I was just trying to see if it was a cat or a dog, but I see by the by the nose that it's a cat. I didn't um, know. What do you think the cat's doing? He's got a bird in his hand and he's flipping it. Is that what he's doing? I hope that's what he's doing. If not, is he doing something Hold worse? <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if I can show this on camera. Am I gonna have to blur out my video? Okay. It is cute, Sarah. On the inside of the pocket. I don't even know what's happening. Is a happening. cat flipping two birds. Oh, let me see. <laughs> I didn't know that was happening on the inside. So normally. I just saw a cute cat in a pocket. You just see a cute little cat. I didn't know that. But inside the pocket. Stop showing it. We get it. He's flipping the birds. Flipping the birds. Let me see it. Gosh dang it. Oh. As I was moving closer to the camera, I realized that it's on manual focus, so it's all blurry. Did you change it? It's on manual. So <clears> I couldn't <throat> see it? Not That's when it. I moved up. Good, because they don't need to see that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I you're, the, you're the one that picked it out for yourself. I saw a cute kitten sitting in a pocket, and so I picked it out for me. Um, this one is a loft size small, and it's like an off the shoulder, but it has sleeves. So that's cute. Just a stripe with the ruffly top. Nothing too special. Chad picked that one out. That one? Yeah. You said, is this cute? And I said, yeah. Hmm. I don't remember that. You did. I do remember picking this one out. I didn't think so at first. I'm like, ah, oh, Valerie must have picked that one out. But I just remembered there was a Hurley brand. Yeah, you picked it out. Hoodie with kind of like a puffer jacket on <laughs> stain. I didn't see that either. Or is it melted? Well, it's got a stain on it, but. Try and wash it. It's like a puffer vest with hoodie sleeves built into it. I like those kind of jackets. So this might be another one for if it has Valerie. Stain. If it has stains and I can't sell it. <laughs> oh, speaking of for Valerie, <laughs> Chad found this one, and it's a really <clears throat> cute find. It's like a slouchy burnout black color sweater, knit I'm sweater, in front of you. heavy knit sweater by Michael Kors. Um, I don't remember what size it was. A small maybe. I don't know. Size small, I think, but it's a little oversized. It's got some stuff on the front, which I'm going to try and wash out. But it doesn't matter. It's for me anyway. Oh, and it's because there was this rip, too, that might have Chad so. Like, it's not coming undone, unwoven. It's just... This, it came undone. I was just remembering that you are talking about it, that, we, that the bottom was torn. But that one is for me anyway, so... Um, this one is another Ecote, Ecote, size large, <laughs> from Anthropology. <clears throat> um, when I first saw it, it kind of reminded me of, like, what hairdressers wear. So I didn't think it was anything, but then I decided, whatever, just look at the stupid tag on it. And yeah, it's an Anthropology brand. <laughs> Don't I look like I'm graduating? <laughs> <laughs> It's called Fashion. It is cute though. Oops, where's my pocket? It's cute. It smells good too, actually. That's me, I just walked by. It smells good. It smells like a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It smells like diesel. Um. This is free. Hey, kitty. Why can't you show things that I'm having? Because I figured there was some symbolic reason. Hi, my name's Polly. I hate my tail. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>
This is a J, J. Crew. Small. Wait, let me see the tag. J. Crew small. When it has those two dots, it's factory, which means it's a little cheaper. This was made in the factory. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty? Okay, the cat's eyeballing it. He just wants to claw it up a little bit. So, J. Crew, <laughs> is it? It's not denim. It's called chambray. When it looks like denim, but it's not, it's chambray. When denim's made in the factory, it's chambray. <laughs> and it's like denim, but not quite denim. <laughs> It's a lot cheaper. That's like the start of a really good poem. It's like denim, but it's not quite denim. <laughs> it's called chambray instead. It's like a country song. <laughs> I'm not going to do that one. Is that yours too? <laughs> yeah. This is what I, thought, I thought when I left you alone at the bins... That you were buying a bunch of stuff to sell? Would you rather I bought used stuff that cost like a quarter or new stuff that cost $25? But I have everything I need clothing wise. <laughs> Why did you look at my shirt? And then look away and not say anything. Apparently you don't like my sweater? I bought it for you. This is a silence. I didn't buy that for you. You bought that at Beals. Black Friday. Two years ago? Last year. Silence and Noise, size medium. It's an Urban Outfitters brand. And this is a really weird tank top. <laughs> Here, you try and figure it. I should have given this one Wait, to you. Wait, are these arm Look at it! I don't know! Can you see? Look. Where did, oh, I oh. see! You're, I didn't see this before. It takes two people to get dressed. No, this is for Siamese twins. <laughs> Conjoined. Conjoined twins is what this is for. Exactly. <laughs> or best friends. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay. You stick your arm through there and then your through here. Your body goes here. And it's a bat suit. Oh, lordy. That's actually pretty, okay? It's your turn. That was mine. Can I go now? Yeah. You found that one. Is this yours or? Do you like it? It looks like all your other shirts. <laughs> you can have it. So this is a loft size, size large. It looks just like the shirt I'm wearing, which is a pol polo shirt. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a, a knit top. Oh. On the silence and noise one, sorry, it's a size medium. It's really cute. It is cute. Sorry, someone was asking what size. I think they were asking on that one. <clears throat> were you asking on that one because it's uh, we have a little bit of a delay in the comments in the video. There was the a wig wag. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The wig one. <laughs> did, did you give the? Did you say wig wag? <laughs> What's a wig wag? <laughs> I thought. It might have. <laughs> it's a size medium. <laughs> What's, a uh. <laughs> What's a wig wag? Comment down below. What's a wig wag? So this one's got like some fancy knitting in it. I don't know <laughs> if you guys can see that in the camera. But it's got like a pattern on the chest. Not just like the regular knit, but a different pattern. Mm -hmm. It's a loft, size large. Knit top. Loft for some people does really, really good. Me, it's okay. So am I doing that? If you want to. This one is just a plain t-shirt, size extra small, but it is by Madewell. So just a basic v-neck, but Madewell does really good. What color is that? Orange? It's orange. I like turtles. <laughs> So, Marona, size extra large. Were you, uh... <laughs> it's an extra large, but 
I do like it oversized and it's a pullover and it's gingham and it's so soft. Gingham. Let me try it on. That black and white checker is called gingham. You can go while Isn't I try that this a song? on. Oh. oh. <laughs> the gingham style. Or is it gingham? I don't know. I'm, oh, wait. What is this? <laughs> okay, maybe I am going to sell it. I don't know. What the heck? You said it was size extra does, large. It's extra large, short armed. <laughs> Adam, this might fit your girlfriend with those pants. I don't think I don't think Adam's in here watching anymore. He bailed after the first one. Don't worry, Adam. We'll save you your puzzle piece. Oh man. <clears throat> ah, it fits good enough. <clears throat> I like it. It's soft. <coughs> It's a keeper. Um, I don't see a tag here, but <coughs> it's got the Omega on the back, so Lululemon. Um, you don't know where the size tag is? But he knows where to look. You keep searching, because I bet you won't find it by the time I get back. Well. Keep searching, it's there. You already found it? Yeah. Are you sure? Is it printed or is it an actual tag? It's like a sticker, like the emblem. Hmm. I don't know. Somewhere inside this leg, I'm guessing, is a size. I don't know why Lululemon does this. Like, who cares what size it is? Why do you have to hide it? It's it, not in the legs. Because, honestly, most of the time when you see girls wearing these pants, they're like three sizes too small anyways. Actually, that's true. But since they're stretchy, it doesn't matter. You can just squeeze it in there. Once it gets transparent, <laughs> you've got it just about right. And then you're ready for that Victoria's Secret sexy tennis shirt. <laughs> oh. You did it! What the heck is that pocket? Is that for your cell phone? No, it's for like a key. Like a gym key. Or car key. So it's a size 6. There is a secret compartment on the back. For your mace <laughs> if you're jogging but, in which case you should be wearing your jeggings <laughs> oh it's only on one side hmm. oh it's kind of like left front hmm? it's off centered in the front that's because it's just for like a gym key hmm. weird but the other thing is 90 percent of the people i see wearing these pants are wearing too small of pants, and they're also not exercising. How often do you exercise? Every day. My phone said that I walked almost four miles yesterday before we went on our walk. No, but Lululemon does a really crappy job with sizing. They're crazy small. I mean, unless they're supposed to be like compression pants, that brand is hard to do. Oh, your brother's here. Say hi to your brother. Hey, Pete. Um, this is a burlaps. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can use this to store your onions or your potatoes in, and it's got this drawstring to carry it with. Or if you are uh... a hobo. <laughs> Or if you're one of the wise men, maybe no, like, I'm like uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a church play. So this is the brand Ecote again, size six. Anthropology brand. It's got the raw hems, tie waist, very cute, very hobo chic. Oh. <laughs> Just do them. Nope, you gotta read every single item that's yours. That's a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this one though. <laughs> this one is, oh, never mind. It's a tire, but it's spelt weird. And it's a four petite, which I don't think will fit me. I'm not sure. I bought them in the hopes that they will fit me. But it's just like a skinny leg. Yeah, I just thought it would look really... Linen? I thought, no. It's like really fake material. There's 
one, two, three, four. It's like five different materials. Sarah, are you asking about these gray pants oh, or the white pants? She's probably asking about the white pants. It doesn't feel like linen. It feels like cotton. I'm not what? sure where the material tag is in them. Oh, right there. What's the difference between cotton and linen? I thought... It's 100% cotton. Um, linen sells for a lot more. But I thought this would be cute with like some... a band tee or something. Or my Simpsons t-shirts. And some Converse. Tell me that ain't cute. I'm still trying to figure out... I thought like linens were like... bed sheets. Aren't those linens? I agree, Ruth. Lululemon is too tight. Like the I was... hobo ones. No. I know. <laughs> I'm reading comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the other comment. The hobo ones. Yeah, they're 100% cotton. Can't you just get like a size bigger? They're pretty the, soft too. In the Lululemon? They only go up to a size 12. And I'm like a size 4, 6, and like a size 12, I feel like, would probably fit me. Comfortably. Hmm. So, I don't know why they do that. I think it's supposed to, like, compress you, but I don't like that feel. It's your turn. Like I said, most of the time they're like four sizes too small. I'm just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> <clears throat> Is it Kiva or Kira? We can do both of these at the, the same time. The R's, they could be R's or V's, it's hard to tell. Are they both the same brand? I think it's Kiva. Kiva? Kiva. Small Kiva? Customized top? 100% cotton. Huh. It has all the sizes on there, but size small is circled. Oh, and there's actually a logo on the back. I didn't see that before. Is yours? Yeah. So it's the same shirt. This one's in blue, that one's in green. But the tag did look really fancy. So I picked them up, just guessing. And if they're nothing, <laughs> then I just don't know. Okay, you're up. Um, so this one. <laughs> I know it's not in season, but you know who doesn't care? Me. <laughs> don't look in the pocket. <laughs> It says, wait, what does it say? It gnome says, for the holidays. Gnome for the holidays. And there's just a gnome poking out. There's nothing in the pocket. What's poking? <laughs> hey, Jen, look in my pocket. So. And it's just from Old Navy, size large. And I don't care that the holidays are over. I'm still going to wear it. Mm -hmm. We're always known for the holidays. True. Skate brand? The is it oh. Ki, is it Kira with R's or Kiva with V's? Mm -hmm. Z Z My Mom. Hi, what was the stair movie you said to watch? The staircase? Oh. Mm. All you'd have to do is type in staircase. <laughs> or stair. I'm gonna use your phone to text my mom. And then I'm gonna steal the charger actually here. Put that in mine. Mm. You can go next. I see you have my mom's number? Um, yeah. It's not under mom, though. Actually, that's... Is that her old number? Mm, Go to... Does it show text messages? From August. Oh, it says not... Uh, they, I think they were out of town whenever I tried texting them for that one. Okay. So, back to the show with just me for a moment. Wait a second. For a second, I thought this was going to be a skirt or shorts, but then it has like the clear hanger things. So apparently, this is a top. <clears throat> I guess I just don't understand fashion. It's an off the shoulder crop top. It's a below the beard crop top. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even read what brand it was. Or the size. Uh, Coco and Jameson, large. 
not sure about the brand. I'll have to look it up. But either way, it's really cute. Um, this one is from Julie's Closet, with a, I think it's just like a either a boutique brand or maybe it's just from Ross. Not sure, but it's like a handkerchief looking pattern. It's cute, it's lightweight. Sarah thinks that it's an RR. Oh, I don't know what size that was. Did I say? Oh. Not on that one, but on the skate yeah. shirt. You can go while I look for the size. Um, pair of Medium. reels, real straight, gap jeans, size 29 or 8A. <laughs> What's the A stand for? Alpha. These are the alpha jeans. Yes. Or average length. Maybe. I don't know why it'd be called average. Maybe it's an ankle. No, it would say that. They usually put R for regular instead of average. Maybe people were offended by regular. I don't know what the A stands for. Comment down below what the A stands for. Ooh, I got the good one. The Alpha brand. No, what was it? This is the Road Crew Athletic Wear mm -hmm. Company. Lululemon, just the, it's got like the open back. It is a little peely, so I'll have to shave it. But other than that, it's really good condition. Um, Built-in sports bra size. What size are you? It's a size four. But that one actually looks kind of big for a four. One of the most expensive items we found for the whole trip, I have here in my hands. And Patrick's and, not even here. And these are quite hard to get. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a company brand. You have to be employed to, to get the shirt, I think. It's like a special membership. But uh, <laughs> it is a Hooters tee. Delightfully tack tacky, yet... Yeah. Unrefined? Is that what it says? True. Well, I've never been inside of a Hooters, so I couldn't tell you. And unfortunately, it won't fit me. But when I saw it, I was think You found it, but I saw it in your hand. I was thinking it would be perfect for one of my co-workers. What size is it? I think it's too big for his girlfriend's. It's a small. Too big. It looks okay. kind of big it, for a small. It, it probably is. <clears throat> it's probably a size small, but it's meant for larger chested. True. People. But I think he'll like that. And if he doesn't have a girlfriend, he can always wear it at home by himself. He can make one of his guy friends work. <laughs> but none of them are small either. I did find the shorts that went with it. Did you? Yeah, but they were... Were real... they orange? Yeah. Or... <laughs> it was like the orange color and it said Hooters something had it on there. But they were really worn down. Okay, I'm going to do two. Go for it. This one is not for me. I really liked it and I really wanted it. It's a size Old Navy Large. And it's just a checkered gray and white button up top. And I really, really liked it. And I was sad and I was thinking, well, it'll be oversized, but I'll still wear it. But I don't have to because I found this one. Old Navy size small. I thought it was the exact same one, but it's not. But I still like it a lot. Mm, it's got a longer tail, too. Over your butt. I think I need a medium butt. A medium butt? <laughs> yeah. Or medium shirt. <laughs> I need a medium shirt, but this one will work. I'll try it on. Maybe I'll end up selling them both. You need a medium butt. <laughs> um, Hi, Valadoodles. <laughs> that one's my favorite brand to sell. I can't pronounce it. Arcteryx. 
Assuming I'm saying it right. I'll be right back. And it says... It says a small. It's a men's. It's funny because the other tag says youth. Really? Where? But I, On the Goodwill tag? Yeah, I got a feeling they miscategorized it. Yeah, I think it's a men's. Um, because it's a Goodwill. It says kids and infants. <laughs> but it's probably a men's small. No, nah, that'll probably fit a, a big baby. A big small baby. <laughs> Um, but Arteryx normally does pretty good. I thought the d the logo was cracked, but it might be the design of it. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I wasn't sure either, but it's Arteryx, and seriously, people just buy that stuff up. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, don't get mad at me. This one is a reasonable purchase for myself. And it's not gross, because you just wash it, okay? It's a swimsuit. It's, and a dress. It's a no. It's a size. It's a size Tommy Bahama. <laughs> the brand is Tommy Bahama, and it's a size eight. But I'm pretty sure this will fit me, and it's got like the. What do you call that when it just ties around your neck? You don't know. I can't think of it. Somebody knows down below. What's it called? A halter top, I think. But it's just a halter top. And it's got like ruching on the top. Isn't that just cute? And it's got like a little bit of a flap right there to kind of help a little modesty. And then just the plain back. I thought that was so cute. That's for me though. They're all reasonable. So is that a medium butte? Huh? There's an E on the end. Butte? Like Cresta Butte? Oh, medium butt. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll do this one. <laughs> this is item number 47. Wait, doesn't this look really familiar? From one that we had earlier? The gray turtleneck? I don't remember. You don't remember? I remember you talking about turtlenecks, but I wasn't paying attention because I was probably looking at my next item. There's no tag, inner tag or size tag. But it's like the exact same one I had earlier. And yes, this one is for me too. I just love them. So if you see me wearing a gray <clears throat> turtleneck every single day, it's actually a different one and it's not the same one. And Sarah said it is a halter. Halter top. It's a halter because that like you use those on horses to lead them <laughs> to water. That's why that swimsuit is a halter top. Makes sense, Chad. You're so smart. Isn't that the cutest thing? You can't really see it because it's black. There you go. You can kind of see more of the detail. I just thought that was the cutest swimming suit. Which one are you going to pick? I don't know. I'll just let you go again. How come? I'll do this That's one. a new with tag because there's a sticker on it that <laughs> says remove before wearing. That's how some people would list it. Not me, but... It's a size large, J. Crew, woven. What kind of material is that? You think a rope? It's not leather. It's like a rope belt. Well, this part might be leather. Probably it's J. Crew. It's cotton. It doesn't say what the other part is. But anyway, it's a J. Crew size large. Looks brand new, but people love their J. Crew. I really like those ones. They're not my size. I'm not keeping them. But I really like those pants. Express jeans. It was a size tag. Ten regular ankle leggings with a rose pattern on the side. I think it's a rose. I forget what they call that. Applique? What do you call that pat? It, it's like a patch. It's not embroidery, is it? No. Um, applique? I think that's what it's called. And it's got the raw hem. Oh, they're so cute. But yeah. they're not my size. My, not mine either. They could have been if you would have stuck with whole 30. <laughs> that, I probably couldn't get my foot <laughs> through the waist opening. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I'm not sure what the brand on this one is. 
It's a size small tank top. It's got like a picture of that, but the RN number, it's an anthropology top. I just don't know the name of the brand. But it's just picture an over. What? That's anthropology. Mm. Some of the brands they sell, they don't actually have the names on it. It's just like a picture. Where there's like Indian feathers where they tie feathers together. Looks like it. But the way you tell it's an anthro brand is you look at the inner tag, the material tag, and the RN number is 66170. And that's how you know it's sold in anthropology. <laughs> um, this one, I'm surprised nobody picked up, but I don't think they realized what it was. I think maybe they just saw like this and thought it was a, what do you call them, key holders? Lanyard? Yeah, I think they just thought it was a lanyard. Nope. It's a Nike racer back top. Looks brand new. Perfect condition. Oh, size small. I could put a tag on that and we could call it new with tag. <laughs> Your turn. It's confusing me, giving me more than one item. Is this for sale or is this for I'm not sure Avery. what size Avery is. Maybe for this Avery. This is a Under Armour loose fitting youth large. This might be for my nephew Avery. He really likes Under Armour. Hmm. And it's like brand new looking. Like the logo is in perfect condition. Yeah, normally they have cracks in them from the dryer. So either someone washed it well or they uh, didn't wear it very often. Or they just never washed it. <laughs> or they never... You gave me two, so... I'm that. not sure why I picked this one up. Because it's brand Vince, which is similar to Vinny. I'm not sure if Vince is the same as Vince Camuto. But that's why I grabbed it. I wasn't sure. But anyway, it was... I mean... Super light, what, 10 cents? Size so small. It's like a brownish gray life beater. <clears throat> gray? Brown? Brownish mm. gray? Taupe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what color am I? <clears throat> You can't pronounce it or you can't say it. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. <laughs> so, Victoria's Secret pink, even though they're black, <laughs> leggings. Size, extra small. They are a very not stretchy waistband. And I think they're see through, aren't they? Maybe not. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty see through. Like, yeah. even not stretched out. They're pretty see-through, so you can't. That's what makes them Victoria's Secret. Visible underwear, with them. <laughs> unless you want people to see your underwear, and then that's the type to go with. Um, this one is by Free People. It's an extra small pink burnout tank top, and it's just got a lot of really pretty embroidery on it. It's just a really oversized, flowy tank top. Do you have more of this? Is it? I have shoes? a few pairs of shoes. So we're almost done. It's only been two hours. White House, black market, size large. Are these light? Not even those are see through. I guess only when I hold it up to the light. <laughs> they have uh, some artificial leather on the inner lining. Now, are these like riding pants then? It's like kind of a, that look. it's like a moto or type pant, yeah. I see it equestrian, but no, it's like a moto type pant. Hmm. And I actually learned something That's today. Really I always thought that fake leather was vegan leather, but it's not, and it makes sense because even though it's like pleather, if they use glue in it. That makes it not vegan because glue has like horse bones. Hmm. And I didn't know that, so I've been listing stuff wrong. 
<clears throat> well, all the vegans are going to hate you. <laughs> so much that they might go eat meat. This is a size large. They look like they're new, too. They feel new. <clears throat> These ones I was unsure about. I guess I haven't been inside the buckle in like forever. So I'm not sure what their newer tags look like. But I'm pretty sure like the boyfriend style jean is relatively new. Like within a year or so. So it's a silver boyfriend style jean. <clears throat> Super stretch size 16. <clears throat> So, is that the same as Silver Tab? Or no? I think Silver and Silver Tab are different. Because Levi Sold was silver, buckle. silver Tab, right? Silver, no, Levi has a Silver Tab line. Hmm. It's got a black tag line. Oh. Tab line. It's got a bunch of different lines. But, anyway, this one's a boyfriend one and it's distressed. But what I really like about it, it's the same kind of jeans I have on. Where it has, like, the holes, but they're patched. So your legs will never show through them. Which I prefer because then you never ever have to shave your legs. <laughs> and nobody will know. They're perfect. True, Stacy. Which is good because I didn't know I was like giving wrong information on stuff and I feel bad. I never even thought about if it's like a purse and I'm calling it vegan leather that there could be glue in it. Or the type of yarn or stitching, I guess, if there's embroidery, I never thought about. So, another pair of cool pants, <clears throat> cool brand pants, size 3334, which is an odd size. Won't fit me. <laughs> but they're uh, zip off, so they convert into shorts. A few stains. Yeah, these are pretty beat up. They've got some discoloration. <laughs> I'm just seeing that too. The guy obviously wore the shorts outdoors in the sun a lot more than he <laughs> wore the pants. And then on the back, flip it around, <clears throat> there's more discoloration and staining. But there's also, <clears throat> there used to be a hole, it looks like. But they patched it up really good. They sewed it and they put a patch. But this brand, cool. You won't be able to see that. But this brand, where's the thing, K-U-H-L, it doesn't matter if it's beat up like that, these will still sell for like 30 bucks. Especially the guy's line, it Is goes it for a lot more. Pants zip up the leg too? Yeah, that's yeah. What, so they like go over boots maybe? Yeah. Hmm. But that's a really good brand. Uh, I'll give you these shoes. <laughs> so, I went on the shoe hunt. I only found one pair. I'll show mine and I'll let you share yours. Normally, <clears throat> I spend most of my time in the shoe section. And I hate listing shoes. I hate it. I hate shoes. <clears throat> but I they're easy money. They're easy money. I prefer the shoes because it's like if you find a match, it's like, yeah, I got, you know, you, it's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know one. all the brands. Let me have the right foot. I'm going to try one on. That's, yeah. that's the right foot. <laughs> I found some body glove <clears throat> shoes. Valerie's going to try one on right now. What size are they? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if they're too big, then they'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have my toes with it. So it's a 3T barefoot max. I don't know what that Men's. Means. Oh. No. <laughs> So I don't know what... Yeah, they're too big for me. <laughs> <laughs> it fits me, but my toes aren't long enough to fit into the toe holes. So it's like this. <laughs> Is there a size on them? Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh, 3T like a toddler. Size. Um, the ripped jeans were, what did I say, 16? Yeah. There is 16, and they say length 29, but I'm not sure, because I'll have to measure the inseam. But 16. 
Didn't see a size on them. Are you gonna try them on? Oh. No. I can't. I can't fit. <laughs> Your big toe. Yes, I was gonna try this on. Almost. I'm pretty sure these kind of outdoorsy shoes, your toes are supposed to be like this. And you're probably not supposed to have a big toe <laughs> that size. Look, put it up next to my palm. <laughs> Look how big his big toe is. <laughs> um, you can do another pair. <laughs> so I found one of these boots. I was like, man, those are like heavy duty leather. So I was looking for the other one. It took me forever because I think someone else found one and they put it in a completely different bin. But they say Queen B on the bottom, but they kind of look like, at first I thought they were work boots, but the bottom reminds me of like an equestrian style boot. But they're actually American Eagle. No, Abercrombie. Yeah. Abercrombie and Fitch. And that's a heavy duty leather boot. Um, that's crazy. But... I don't know, they look like horse riding boots. It's weird. Do you say what size they are? I don't even know if there is a size on them. I can barely read the tag. <clears throat> but super heavy duty oh, leather. Uh, oh. Like, to me, I could never wear a boot like that. Even if it was in my size. Because I don't think I could get my foot down the boot. It's big, bigger oh. than your foot. So maybe it's like a 10? Might be a size 10. Hmm. I wonder what size my mom wears if she has horse riding boots. I don't know. If she wants them, she can have them. I don't think she's watching. She was at the start. I don't know if she is anymore. Well, it's like 10.30. It's past her bedtime. Past my bedtime. My bedtime alarm went off at 9.30. Yeah. Huh. But... I always thought your mom had smaller feet than me, but they'll fit her. She can have them. I don't remember. Maybe... Is Shelby watching still? I don't think she is. I'm the barefoot shoes. Ooh, cool. I want to see these fit somebody. Oh, I never realized that the three pinky, or the three pinky toes, <laughs> if you got three pinky toes, you're in trouble. But the three smaller toes are combined. But I suppose, like, you can kind of wiggle your, like, first two toes, but the other three move at the same time. And I don't want anyone to be confused from Chad, but this only has enough for five toes, not eight. <laughs> it's got room for your three pinky toes. Plus all your other ones. They are cool. If these were my size, I would wear them. I just think it would feel cool. I used to have a roommate that used to wear them. Yours, fine. You did good. So these are kind of, I don't know if they're worn or if that's like the style. Um, the, they're Tevas, but the... They're all like twisted know, up. Yeah, it's all twisted up, but maybe that's just the style of them. This one's not. Is. That one's just twisted up. This one's not. So they're probably just twisted. I think it's a slip on, though. I don't think it's a sling back. I think it goes like that. Yeah. Hmm. But the, s the bottom wasn't really worn out. Mm -mm. And there wasn't like a foot impression on the uh, sole of it. So, I don't see a size. Oh, uh, well, it's sort of separated. Or is that air? I think that's how it's oh, supposed to be. It's like it's an like air. air cushion. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me check yours for a size. Good Here. luck. While you're looking for that, I found these gigantic soled shoes, which are Doc Martens, right? Yeah. Um, the bottoms look pretty good. There's hardly any wear. There's a little bit of wear on the leather, but I think that's mostly just from not oiling it. I'm Cinderella. So they're like an eight and a half or a nine. Probably an eight and a half. But I'm pretty sure that Shelby used to have a, or several pairs of Doc Martens back, shoot, like 90. That's because all the cool kids. 1996 cool or had seven these or eight. Shoes, and I always wanted a pair, but mine were the Walmart knockoff brand. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure we lived in town. Mm, the size is worn off. When on Shelby this had one. a pair of these. 
So, oh, is that like an extra sole? This is what it should look like. Yeah, but it's got like a line in it up there. Maybe they added something? Oh, yeah. This, I don't know. Hmm. Size. Seven is what's on the front sole. Oh, maybe. I can't read it. Size seven? Mm, maybe. I don't know. They fit. But the soles are oil, fat, acid, petrol, alkali resistant. No, I think the Tevas were like an eight and a half or nine because they fit my foot almost perfect. And I feel like these might be an eight and a half or a nine too. These fit. Those make your feet look, look awesome. so tall. <laughs> I like them. And surprisingly, I expected them to be a lot heavier than that. Because no, they are heavy. <laughs> I expected them to be heavier than that. Like, this is how much my Chacos weigh. But they're a size 13, so... Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, I think my Chacos are 14s. Those are cool. I like them. And you're like two inches taller. I know. Now I'm like 5'5". Five five. <laughs> Those are cool. And I think that was all the shoes that I found. Yeah, I found one pair. I normally find a lot more shoes than that. I'm glad you didn't. I normally put, I put a lot more in the basket and she got rid of them. True. These, I don't know what size are these. These are a Sorel, which sell for a lot on Poshmark. Size five. No, that can't be right. Size five. Did you try them on? No, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Did you say those were for you? No. No, maybe they are. Small. My toes hitting. Where's the Velcro? You're pulling it too tight. It's got the Velcro on it, a green. Eh, and it's got like the tie thing on there. It doesn't feel like a size 5. I must have. Is it no, a men's? A... I'm a size 7.5 in men's. And these are a little small. Eh, I don't know what size they are. Hmm. But they're in good condition. They're solid green and then they got the green pattern on the back. I'm not sure what size. It says five on the bottom, but I mean, my toe was just cramped a little bit. No, it's a size five. Cute. Dr. Mary Jane's. <laughs> That's a Walmart knock. <laughs> Funny. Never wore them. Oh no. Were they heavy? I'm. I have a lot of. I think I have a few pair of Doc Martens in my other stash from the Springs bins. I'll have to. Well, look. they weren't that style, were they? I'm um, not the exact. They but didn't have like that this. thing of a stole. Oh. Yeah, they all, all the oh. Doc Martens I find have this really big sole. And see, I found another Doc Martin that was like a work boot. Mm -hmm. it was I gave like, those to my dad. So I what? found, no, there was another pair oh. on Saturday. Oh. Actually, I found two different ones, but they weren't, at first I was like, oh, here's another pair of boots, but I think they were both lefts. Oh. And I'm they were different, <laughs> they were a little bit different style, and I couldn't find the right to either one of them. But they were like a, a higher ankle um, work boot, I think. Hmm. They weren't as they weren't an ankle like that. They were like a mid height mm. work boot. Mm -hmm. I'll look for you, Sarah. I'll pull out the Doc Martens I have. I'm pretty sure I have a few pair that aren't listed yet. And were you saying that you? Oh, my lefties. Got two lefts. Were those Chacos? I was like so excited They're I found... Tivas, Tivas or, or Chacos. Is it, yeah. Or was it Merrill? I don't know. It was some fancy like mountain brand. I was so excited. It was one of our first trips to the bins and springs. And I grabbed two sandals. And I was yeah, these are going to go for good. <laughs> they were two left feet. But it was the same exact shoe. And then you sold one pair of Merrills, I think. That the lady said that the, the soles... Oh were like two different compounds. It looked identical, mm -hmm. but one had a shinier sole and it was more slippery than the other one. Mm -hmm. She bought them for her son. But she had already accepted the package and after you do that, 
um, po Posh won't even consider a return. But I think she said that it was okay, like they would work fine. Yeah, well I told her, if she relisted them, I would buy them back from her and take them back. Because I didn't know they were like that. And like, you look at them, they look identical. Mm -hmm. like, but I think that's all it takes with some people, is just like, caring about their needs. And she's like, oh, it's okay, we'll make it work. Hmm. Like, she was cool about it. Well, that's it. That was, I don't know how many pieces. I'll have to count it up and then figure out cost per item. But it does throw it off when you have stuff like this, since it's like crazy heavy. This and the Doc Martens. Yeah, these are probably, I don't know, five pounds? I think? I don't think it's five pounds. I don't know. They're pretty, that's like really thick leather. I would but... guess like three, almost four pounds, but not quite. Hmm. That's my guess. But yeah, ask, but still, your, ask like your five, mom what size she wears. Five bucks? Yeah. For a pair of boots? Pretty cheap. And they're in pretty good condition. I mean... Like the leather's not even that... I mean, like, condition them. For Abercrombie? Like, it's a I nice... I mean, these are probably like $200 boots. <laughs> these are like a really thick leather. I don't think you can tell how thick they are. But it's a thick leather. And Sarah doesn't... <laughs> no docks for her. <laughs> That's it. Now I go and I wash everything. And then I steam it to make sure it looks pretty for pictures. And I measure everything. And then I take the photos. And then I list it. And then I... Fold everything nice and put it in a bag and put the number on it and then I put them away in the bins. It's a long process. Yep. Um, I think we were around 60 some pounds. It was just over $90. Mm-hmm. But I think she even rounded down for us, didn't she? It sounded like she was like, oh, I'll just make it this much. Mm. So she rounded down for us, which is nice. Most most of the employees at those stores are really nice. Like one guy, when we went in, I got a bunch of clothes, and I had that, um, it's like a calendar whiteboard with, like, the cork on the bottom. He just gave it to me for free. You I can't remember that one time did they make you check out after I already went through it. And you were like grabbing one more thing, and I thought that I would still be checking out by the time Valerie got back, but I got done. Did he charge you for it, or did he just tell you to take it? Was it that just that REI foam pad? No, he charged me for oh. it. But it was like what, not even a dollar. Yeah. And I ended up Marie Kondoing it. <laughs> but I think Tebow will like it. I gave it to Tebow to lay on. Hmm. Yes, that's it. What was... Oh, you read that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that is it. Thank you for doing the haul with me. Mm -hmm. It's more fun in pairs. Like, when you go to the bins by yourself, it is really boring. But when you have a friend with you, it just makes things funner. When I go to the bins with Valerie, sometimes it's really boring. I mean, yeah, but it's better when, it's more boring when you're by yourself. And it's funny, quick story. So when you go to the bins, if you've never been, the one in Colorado Springs, they, when they change bins, they wheel out the old ones. And when they start to do this, you're allowed to line up on the edges and get ready for the next one. And then they'll wheel in the other one. And then they say, everyone put your hands up. And you put your hands up. And then they say, ready, shop. And you're allowed to go. Well, in the Denver bins, it's different. <laughs> and they make you line up, like, like what, perpendicular? Is that perpendicular to the bins? So you're not allowed to go down, like, the walkways. You're supposed to stand away from them. And then they say, take your places. And in my mind, I was thinking, okay, let's go. We all go to our <laughs> spot and start picking. And it was shoes, and people are crazy about shoes. 
So like I get to my spot and I just start going through the shoes and some Mexican dude, some old dude next to me, he's like, hey, hey, not yet. And he's like angry talking to me. And so I put my hands up because I was scared. <laughs> but like he didn't speak English, but he spoke enough English to tell me to stop touching his shoes. And apparently you line up and then you have to wait and then they tell you to go. And I didn't know that. So when you go to the bins, know the rules, or else you make a lot of people angry. I didn't get yelled at once, because I follow the rules. I couldn't hear, I had a cold, so I just assumed we were all going, and I don't pay attention to other people, so I was just going at it. And I didn't even find anything, so it's not like I was taking stuff, I was just looking at it. And it was really weird this time, it's like they had too many clothes. Mm. Normally they have like these plastic <coughs> bins, are like maybe this deep. And they're about waist height, but they had them stacked like double the height. Mm -hmm. So even after everyone rushed through it, we still went through and they only skimmed like the top layer. Mm -hmm. They didn't really dig for anything. So there was still a lot of good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And I guess we always find, or you always find good stuff in the bins mm -hmm. after they, like they're pulling the bins away. So they've already been completely picked through. And there's still good stuff in there because everyone that goes to the bins is looking for something different. Like, you'll see certain people that are grabbing just like a very specific like type of children's clothes. Mm -hmm. um, you see some people that are like, actually they have their kids there and they're sizing clothes for their whole family mm -hmm. and like replacing their wardrobe. Yeah, like I saw two girls there who were shopping and they weren't even like, they weren't resellers. You could tell they were like looking for clothes for themselves. And then other people, I think they only know, like, the big brands, like Nike, Adidas, and they know those brands, and that's what they're grabbing. Like, I think that's why I found so much smart wool and free people, because, like, they don't know the brand. Hmm. Like, they don't know that, that that's money. Or maybe it's just not even, like, their demographic that they're selling to. Mm hmm And then the whole other side of the store is all, like, household stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's where your eBay sellers are at, yeah. is over in that area. And that area is often busier than the clothing side. And those people are really crazy when mm -hmm. when they say go. They're just really shuffle. Like, they'll push you out of the way and if, if they can or, or pull stuff out of your hands. Mm -hmm. well, the first time we went into the Denver bins, I was next to this older gentleman. And there was a box. It was just like a brown box. And he looks at me. And he looks at the box, and he's like, what do you think's in it? I said, I don't know, you can have it. Like, I don't care what's in the box, probably nothing I want. Well, it was empty, it was an empty box. And we went to the Springs one, and there was a big box, kind of lay like up on top, and it had, it said brother on it, and it had an embroidery machine, logos on it, and like a high dollar embroidery machine. Mm -hmm. So I, I got in line, I'm like eyeballing this thing, and this little lady comes next to me and she immediately runs and she goes underneath my arms and just puts her hands on it so I can't touch it. And the box is empty. <laughs> I was just like, oh, whatever. It's like, mm -hmm. no loss. Yeah. I kind of feel like the people in Springs are worse than the Denver people. Because there was, like, in the random bins once, there was a Victoria's Secret bag. And, like, this girl kept eyeballing me, eyeballing the bag, like, back and forth. And <laughs> I was like, go for it. I don't care. I don't want to sell somebody's underwear. Which I think that's what she was looking for. was like, mm -hmm. which they do sell good, like, Victoria's Secret bras and stuff. But, eh. I had a guy uh, get super excited because he got a set of golf clubs. <laughs> and he was, he was yelling... All kinds of stuff, like, I think there was another buddy with him, like, across the place, and he was yelling back and forth, but I couldn't understand what he was yelling, because none of it made sense to me. Yeah, it was probably the group of people. It was, they're not, they're not African-American or African, they're not Mexican, they're, like, Hawaiian, maybe? But this guy was speaking English, it was just, um, he just wasn't speaking, like, I don't know. Do you, have you seen it was the Hawaiian like, It was like though? slang. I think they're Hawaiian. Have you seen, like, the really big guy? He wears, like, tight shirts and, like, leggings, like, tight, bright. Oh, yeah, but I think, uh... He tries to talk to me a lot, and he's not speaking English, 
and he does it like whenever I see him there, which is pretty much every time I go, he'll come next to me and he starts talking. But I don't know what language he's even talking in. The first time I kind of just shrugged, and then after that I just stopped even like acknowledging him because he knows I don't know what he's saying. It's not Hawaiian though. I've heard him talk, and there's one of the employees um, that he talks to. Hmm. But I, I there there he's probably from some part of Europe or Africa. Hmm. But it's just. Uh, I don't, there's, a, there's a group of them that, that talk back and forth. At this point, I think he's just doing it to annoy me. Well, isn't that the guy that... Uh, I don't even think he's straight. The guy in the spandex pants. Like, he's not hitting on me. Like, he's, like, trying to annoy me. Like, they were... Uh, one time, they were, like, blue and gray. Like, they're bright leggings. leggings. They're yeah. super tight. <laughs> and he's, like... He's got kind of smaller legs, and then he's bigger and, up top. And he's, like, six foot three. Yeah, he's huge. Huge but man. Didn't he ask you like he held up a shoe one time because he thought that you had the same shoe? Uh, I vaguely I remember so. that one time. And he held up the shoe because he was looking and looking for this one shoe, and we were looking for the match. Oh. And it wasn't the right shoe. No, it was a different guy. I know who you're talking about. But that guy is normally wearing leggings that are like uh, blue, gray, and silver. That whole group's kind of weird. And they're really annoying, this video is getting long, but whatever. Yeah. How they take up the whole wall, though, of carts. It's bad etiquette. If you ever go to the bins, just so you know, I mean, you can do it, but people are going to get really annoyed with you. If you take your cart with you down the aisles, it really bugs people. And in the Denver one, it sounds like when they bring out a new bin, you're not even allowed to have your cart in there with you. Mm -hmm. Which is hard because some groups of people, it'll be like a group of 10 people, but they'll have like 30 carts lined up against the wall, taking up a whole wall. So it's very hard to find a parking spot for your cart where you can still keep an eye on it to make sure no one's picking out of your cart. Now, I kind of lucked out when I went to the Denver one this last time. There was a guy parked right next to me and his cart was overflowing so full and like I think he was paranoid. He was standing right next to his cart, but he mm. had like a clear tote that he was using to go gather stuff. And when he was uh, taking a break and guarding the thing, he would put his clear tote on top of my cart, which I didn't mind at all because it was kind of like I could see that my cart wasn't being touched mm. and that guy was there. So I kind of trusted that while well, he's there watching his, I hope, because he knew it was mine. Like I kind of look up and he'd look at me like I was looking at him, but I was looking at my cart. So he knew it was my cart. Yeah. <laughs> I think when they checked out, they had like six or eight mm -hmm. carts. Yeah. Because that was... Uh, I think probably his wife and mom mm -hmm. in front of us when we left mm -hmm. um, and they had a big big van that they were getting ready to load up that's also a good tip like I'm not social at all but like kind of talk to the people next to where you park your cart and kind of make some sort of acquaintance with them and I don't know it just makes me feel safer like I feel like they're less likely to rob from my cart I don't talk to many people, but occasionally people will ask me if I've seen something. Like, I was looking through the shoes, and it, and stuff's kind of mixed up. And the lady's like, have you seen this glove? And I, like, <laughs> just cleared an area of shoes, and the matching glove was, like, sitting right in the middle. Like, I don't know how she didn't see it. <coughs> but, like, I had just touched that glove. And I'm like, here you go. <laughs> so I'm not going to be like, nope, and cover it up and wait for her to put that one down and steal it from her. Mm -hmm. Like... The glove, but there's some people that are crazy about. Oh, you know what I hate? Stuff. The people, like I'll be digging, and I have like a low clear spot. Like I'll grab a piece and I'll throw it into this clear spot. Or people will come over and they just knock your pile down. Mm. Oh my gosh! Don't be that person. It's like the same thing. Like if you're at a regular thrift store and you're going through the racks, like you don't walk up and push the clothes back into the person's way like on the rack it's like you don't do it at the outlet either some people probably do it's rude it's so rude and annoys me but sometimes i get upset and i'll like put my <coughs> arm up to stop them so they know like i see you and i'm not gonna be bullied <laughs> mm. but it does it bugs me your brother and laws watching came just in time for the end of the show I know, now we're just here talking. We probably can do this off of live, but...
it's a long YouTube video. I might just upload the whole thing because if people want to watch it, they can watch it. So if you didn't get to watch this, <laughs> it'll be on YouTube. So if you're really bored. I know. <laughs> if you want to put your kids to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. We are at <coughs> two hours and 15 minutes. I'm quite surprised <coughs> that my camera hasn't died or our phones haven't died. That's crazy. I can't believe we've been lying. But in case you're wondering what we're doing, maybe, you know, I don't know if Casey's in town or not. Maybe Shelby's watching from Casey's phone because her phone's dead. Mm. Is that what it is? Who is it? We won't know. I think they might be the only watcher, though. Where's the number at? It went away. It was at one. Maybe nobody's here. They might be gone. <laughs> well, it's but 11 o'clock. We just went through a whole bunch of clothes <laughs> that we picked up in Denver at the Goodwill Outlets. And if you're still holding up to my Christmas present, supposedly we're going every month, once once every month, to the Denver Goodwill. And I think even next time I'll be even pickier than this. But I got some pretty good stuff. I mean... I don't know. It's not that bad for me because when we went up there, um, one of the one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel um, lived in Denver and wanted to show me his car. So I just went over to his house for an hour and a half or two hours. It's probably an hour and a half, but it was a 25 minute drive both ways. So I left Valerie to dig through clothing and shoes and I went and looked at cars and then came back. But I think that's it. Mm -hmm. We got early morning. I had to take oh, yeah. my car to get detailed at Frankenshine. Yeah, car's going to Frankenshine to get cleaned up, even though it's snowing outside. Still, yeah, it's supposed to snow tomorrow still night. Still need too. to get cleaned it's up. supposed to snow tonight again, and then again tomorrow night. But at least the interior will be clean, mm -hmm. even if the exterior gets demolished on the way home. Yeah, that's so. a bummer. Maybe he'll give you like a snowy discount. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, thank thanks you. for watching. Yeah, thank you to the people that watched. And Stacy, I will pull aside. I'll go through, and I think I remember pretty much all that you said. And I'll kind of pull it aside and I'll drop it off with Sarah the next time I see her. And you guys can try on that stuff just to see if it fits. And then whatever works, we can work something out. Yeah. Oh, and your mom too. If she wants to try those boots on. Yes. I can, I can condition them for her. I found the the stuff, my conditioner. Okay, conditioner. I'll see if she's interested. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Next time. See her next time. No, you didn't mean it. You made it more interesting. Thank you for watching my five hour long haul. Wow, that was rude, and I just get up and leave without even saying goodbye to anybody who made it through a 20 hour long haul. So thank you for watching. Um, if you liked anything you saw, go ahead and look me up on Poshmark at Valamilk, and I'll see you next time. Bye!